What's going on guys, Jake here, back again with another video. It's been about three, almost four months, but I had a break over summer. You can't blame that to me. This video comes from one of you guys in the comments section. You asked me about the pros and cons of Oxford Brookes University, and I thought that's actually a pretty good topic to make a video about, because I know a lot of you have just come to uni, so I'm going to be making some videos for you guys who just started. And I know a few of you I've actually met that was pretty cool, have had a great time so far. But anyway, let me jump into this video, answer this question, what are the pros and cons of Oxford Brooks, and maybe help some of you guys who may be thinking about coming here next year. So I'll give you a good overview of the positives and also the negatives of the area and the universe. So number one I want to say is the really strong positive is they have really, really good facilities. Brand new business building as you'll be seeing on the screen right now. Library, forum, restaurants, everything. It's such a modern uni, such a great place to study because you don't feel like you're stuck in some old classrooms. Technology, everything they have is up to date, 2018 ready. It's really good, really easy to use. The IT systems are top, top notch, so I can recommend those to anyone. Um, furthermore, about the actual location, not less than the uni itself. But the um, Oxford itself is a really cool place to live. Living here, you'll get a really good experience. I mean, personally, I didn't want to go all the way up to Scotland, like Glasgow, nothing against you Glaswegians up there and stuff. But Oxford is really dope. You have um, a really nice kind of older city. Obviously, Oxford's been here for like one of the longest times in the UK. So lots of history, have a castle and stuff. And then furthermore, they just built a brand new Westgate. Look at the video right now. Brand new, built last year, has something ridiculous, like over 50, 100 shops. So really easy and convenient to do all your clothes shopping, food shopping, any shopping you really feel like doing, you can get it here in Oxford. Um, my last, well not last pro, but to keep this video short and sweet for you guys, we're going to have a look at the nightlife. I've made, I think, two videos on the nightlife here, so if you haven't already, check those out, but you know that the nightlife is really good. Freshers week is always jam-packed with everybody, so you want to make sure that you come down here. There's about five different clubs, it's really open, clubs for everyone, drum and bass, indie, general clubbing, hip hop, rock. So if you're interested in ever going out, finding people, it's a really good place to do that. I'm sure all unis must have pretty decent club, but I know some places like down in Surrey are quite lacking heavily. There's not really, so on some of the cons though, is a lot of people have union clubs in their union clubs on uni, no on campus clubs. Oxford is so close together, we don't need the on-campus clubs, it's like a 10 minute bus into town and there's 5 or 6 clubs out there and about 25, 30 different bars. So the Union the union has a bar, really cheap, like £2.80 pints, so it's always another positive, but there's not really much clubbing um, activity, late night activities going on at the university itself unless you're studying. But the uh, library is open 24 hours, that's another really good positive. A couple other things to do with Oxford itself is there's zero parking, and I mean zero parking. Students are just not supposed to bring a car up unless you have a house. Um, there's underground parking at malls and stuff, but you'll never, being a first year or second year really, cars are a no-go, maybe for an older student and you can afford the parking and or have somewhere to park it, then fair enough. And then this lack of parking also goes, there's a slight lack of housing for students. You're going to be paying a bit over the premium for halls and housing. I mean, the cheapest halls, I think, are six to 7,000, maybe a bit less. And that more expensive halls are ranging all the way up to like 9,000 pounds. So almost the same as your tuition for staying here for the whole year, which I mean, it's good, bad. It's a great area, but I think it's one of the most expensive areas to rent in. It's in the top five most expensive areas to rent in coming in behind London I think maybe at number two or three so you have to keep that in mind the living expenses in Oxford are going to be higher but then your quality of living in my opinion is also going to be higher because it's just such a dope place to live so I don't mind spending a bit of extra cash to have that really just awesome experience to all the places here obviously Oxford University is in town not quite Oxford but I mean you still get to go around see all of the buildings all the architecture the lecture theatres, everything is like open on show. So it's really just being in the town, as I'm sure I've, I have shown in some of my previous videos, but I will, you, I mean, you can see the screen, you know what's up there. All of these places, really cool place. So that's like just a really quick rundown for my pros and cons for Oxford Brooks. So as a very, very final cap, let's cap. Best facilities, brand new facilities, amazing. Nightlife. 9.5 out of 10 won't give it 10 out of 10 but 9.5 close enough 
um, amazing library spaces, amazing open museums, public spaces, shopping spaces. The town is packed with things to do. 10 minutes from town, small, tight-knit community. Everything there is great. Few of your cons are, I remember, expensive living. So don't come here expecting to not have to spend some money because transport, living, everything here is just a tad more expensive than the rest of South of England. But if you're living in South England, things are more expensive anyway. Lack of parking, don't think that will affect most of you though. If you're an international student, who cares? If you're ninth, you don't need cars here though. You don't realize it's all public transport, makes it really easy. The union, it's the only thing which I would say maybe you could do with a bit of work if i was going to say something to the university i would say you know what maybe try work on the union maybe try have some more unionized events i know they're doing their best right now and there's still a lot that goes on don't get me wrong but for me personally i think the union needs a bit more nightlife activities a bit more focused around us younger generation going on there because sometimes it feels a bit stale but anyway that is this video if you guys would like any other freshers tips freshers tips university tips anything leave it in a comment down below you know i'll get back to you, you know i'll message you finally if obviously like and subscribe to this video so we can get that content pushed up for people just like yourself who are looking at oxford brooks because the more we get it out there the more i can help you guys and the more you guys can help me we're almost at 200 subscribers so that'd be a pretty cool milestone to hit if we can push last 14 of you 14104 you know what i mean anyway close enough i think that pretty much wraps it up check out my other videos if you have any other things about oxford brooks i've made a load if you see me on campus if you watch my videos you've gone to oxford brooks send me an instagram message send me a comment and i'll meet up with you any questions you have just let me know hope you guys have a really good rest of your weekend the rest of your day and a good year at uni